So here we have our spreadsheet and what I want to do is refer to the part numbers of our spreadsheet and then we want to go and pull the data from our two warehouses. So if we just go over to our warehouses, now I've put these both on the same page and made them very small, but let's imagine these are on two different spreadsheets. We've got warehouse one on the left and warehouse two on the right. What I want to do is search down the part number in the first warehouse and if we cannot find the number with the VLOOKUP then we want it to go off and search the second warehouse list. So this saves us joining the two together. We can have one function or one set of functions that goes off and does the job for us. So let's start off with our particular spreadsheet. Just first of all, we're just going to put a V lookup in, in the normal way. So we type equals V L and you can press tab to finish typing it. And you'll see that we've got the lookup value is our first argument. So that is B2 in this case, the one cell. So now we press the comma and it's asking for the table array. So we go over to our warehouse and the table array is always top left to bottom right, the top left being the top of your lookup values. So we're going to start off there and come down to the bottom right. Then we need to press the F4 key to absolute reference. That puts the dollar signs in because we're going to copy this down through the rest of the item numbers. We want that range to stay where it is. Then we put another comma and it's now asking for the index number. Well, we want the price and that was in the fifth column in our warehouse list. So we put a five and then another comma. And now we want to tell it whether it's an approximate match or an exact match. Well, this is an exact match. So let's come down to false, press tab and that puts false in there for you. Close the bracket and enter and that takes us back to our page and you can see we've got an NA straight away so in other words it's not found DR483 let's just copy this down and see what results we get now you can see that we've got quite a few where it's not found the actual result now we're going to start off by doing what a lot of uh, people do and that's wrapping this whole V lookup. Let's just press F2 so we go back into edit mode. They wrap this whole V lookup in an if error or an if NA. We're going to do it with an if NA. So we just click between the equals and the V and we just type if NA, open bracket. And you'll see the arguments here are compulsory. We need a value. Well, that value is that whole VLOOKUP. So we need to go to the end of the VLOOKUP and put a comma. And then we put a value that we would like if it can't find it. So in speech marks, I'm just going to put not found. And then close the bracket for the FNA and enter. And then copy that down. And you'll see that instead of NA, we've got not found. So what we're going to do is rather than having not found in there, we are going to replace that with another VLOOKUP so that if it doesn't find it, it uses another VLOOKUP to look at the second set of data. OK, so let's press F2. And here we are. Here's the not found. So I'm just going to highlight that and delete that and in its place we're going to put a VLOOKUP but what we'd like to do is rather than just putting a VLOOKUP let's put 
an if na in there as well so that if it doesn't find it in the second set of data it will have not found for us um, and if it does it will do the vlookup so let's put if na open bracket the value will be a vlookup so let's put a vlookup again we're looking at this part number it's the same part number comma the table array this time we're going to go over to our warehouse and it's the second set of data so let's highlight that top left to bottom right so it starts looking at these part numbers and we're going to absolute that with f4 that puts the dollar signs in for us and then a comma and the column index will it be the same column because both warehouses have the same layout of spreadsheet so that's column five which is the price comma and then we want to tell it it's an exact match so we come down to exact just here press tab and that puts false in for us then we need to close the bracket for that vlookup and then put a comma because we're now back to the if na and in speech marks i'm going to put not found and then close the bracket at the end and press enter so now it's found that price for that first one let's copy this down now and now that has searched both sets of data so both warehouses and if it's not found it in the second one we've got not found so basically all you need to do is if you've got a third spreadsheet you want it to go off is replace the not found up the top here with another vlookup to go and look for the th through the third set of data so i think this is a great way of looking through more than one set of data without having to do it all separately and by hand now our problem comes here when we want to drag this across because it, as we drag it across it'll move that b2 that we're looking at to c2 etc so we would need to lock that in with an absolute reference so i'm just going to press f2 to go into edit mode so we want to stay in column b when we drag it across to the right so if we just click in the middle here press f4 and that puts both dollar signs in press it again and it puts it in front of the two press it again and it's just moved it in front of the b so we need to go and do that for the other b2 one two three presses of the f4 key and then when we press enter we can then highlight all of this and then drag it across but of course as we do that we will have the wrong number in there so let's just do the first one first and you see we've still got the 60 pound but we want the supplier so the supplier is actually in column three so all we need to do is if we press f2 again change that five to a three and come over here and change this five to a three so that will bring back the supplier and you can see we've now got the supplier but when we come down if i just drag this down a little bit you see that we've got not found and it might be that we don't want the not found every single time so in this first one i'll just go back to the beginning let's just take the not found out and we just leave the speech marks so it's two speech marks touching each other and now when we copy this down i'll just drag that down to the bottom you can see we've got a nice blank cell because we don't need not found every single time okay so now what we can do is drag this across let's drag it across two and of course that's pulled Saks limited across but let's go and change the region which is in column six so let's press the f2 key and edit this we 
going to change the 3 to a 6 just there and also over here and then in this one we we want the stock level which is in column 4 so let's press F2 and change that 3 to a 4 and enter and of course that's formatted it as currency so I'm just going to turn that back to number without decimal places let's have general let's now drag this down and we've now got the price the supplier the region and the stock level we've got a not found where it can't find the part number in both sets of data from both spreadsheets and we've got blank cells for the same and that's how you can search more than one set of data using VLOOKUPs. Well, I hope you gained something from that. And if you enjoyed it, please do give me the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, can, please consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell. And the next video will be an advanced one doing the same as what we've just done but it's going to be even better. So make sure that you keep an eye out for the next video where I can really show you something good we can do, returning more than one column at the same time. So thanks very much for watching and look forward to seeing you in the next video.